public meeting to order now. So we'll stand to say the pledge. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. John, do you want to lead us in a prayer? Oh, sure. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, merciful, ever forever merciful, glorious God, all praise and honor go to you for the times we have fallen short, especially during this um, time of Lent as we're coming up uh, on Easter. We, we are sorry we throw ourselves on your mercy, and we will try to do better with your help. Please forgive us. Uh, we thank you for bringing us together as a community. Help us to work together as a unit to get things that are done for our township that are that you want us to do to further uh, betterment to bring your kingdom um, to to our community um, we thank you for all the patriots that came before us all the people that uh, live in Homer Glen all the people who elected this this board and they'll even the people that disagree with us because sometimes they make us think and um, uh, what we're working on and to make it even better. And we ask all this through your Son, Jesus, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And we'll call the uh, roll. Sure. Trustee Van Elmo? Here. Trustee Conley? Here. Trustee Rivera? Here. Supervisor Ballage? Here. Okay, we have a quorum. Okay, is there any uh, public comments? Any, did anyone sign up for that? No, or no anyone one. have a comment, public comment? No? No one has signed up. For okay, then we move on to the next thing. Um, clerk's report? Sure. I like a motion to accept the resignation of Trustee Angela Adolph. Motion. I'll start the motion. I'll start, I'll start the motion. Okay, so Conley and um, oh, Before you do it, I just want to let everybody know that um, Angela uh, had a, uh, resigned because of uh, she had conflicts with her family and with her work, and uh, she turned in a letter of resignation. And you know, we told her she did a good job. And uh, you know, if she wants to get involved with anything, just call and we'll put her on a committee or whatever she wants. But uh, you know. She decided that it was in her best interest not to be on because of that. I'd just like to make a comment about Angela. She was great to have on the board. We, were physically, we came in as a team, worked as a team. You know, you have agreements, disagreements, whatever the case might be, but she, I, that, I thought she did a great job as a board member for Homer Township and represented us well. I'll take a roll call then. Uh, Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Uh, Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. Okay, then I'd like a motion to accept the uh, appointment of uh, Mike Gar Mark Garwin as the Homer Township Trustee. I'll start the motion. I'll second it. And uh, Mark was picked to be the uh, trustee because it only makes sense. He was the elected collector. So we, Mark has been working with the township on various committees anyway, and he's been active with us from the beginning, and he was part of when we ran for office, he was part of the group. So it just made sense to move him up since the people already voted for him once. So that's why he's going to uh, take the spot. And then uh, after uh, Mark gets uh, sworn in and stuff, then we're going to be talking about the collector, so rather than me interrupt twice. Uh, Angel Shake uh, is very active with the uh, township also, and she's already volunteering to uh, help Mike Bonomo on the senior committee. And you know she comes to all the meetings. She she knows what's going on, so I figured that would be a good person to put as collector. So with that, we can go to the vote. Okay, sure. I'm going to do a roll call on that one also. So, uh, Trustee Rivera. Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Okay, Mark, if you can see it. Come on, stand up. I 
I'm Mark Gowron. I'm Mark Gowron. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. And I will faithfully discharge the duties of the office. Of trustee to the best of my ability. Of trustee to the best of my ability. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now I need a motion to appoint uh, Angel Shape um, as the Homer Township Collector. Bam. Bam. Start the motion. Okay. Second. Second. All right. Okay. Um, I will do a roll call also for that. Uh, Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. And Trustee Garwin. Yes. All right. Motion passes. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> Supervisor Ballard. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> I was so excited to do really Trustee Garwin. I forget about Supervisor Ballard. Okay. Yeah, I'm overboarded anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you can please uh, raise your right hand. I, Angel Shape, I, Angel Shape, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And I will support the Constitution. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And the Constitution of the State of Illinois. And that I will faithfully discharge, discharge the duties. And that I will faithfully discharge the duties of the Office of Tax Collector. Of the Office of Tax Collector. To the best of my ability. All right, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A motion to approve the May, uh, sorry, March 14, 2022 monthly township board meeting minutes. A motion. Okay. I'll second the motion. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Any nays? Okay, motion passes. And I just wanted to update on the Homer Township uh, annual parade, which will be held June 25th. We are going to be doing a rain date of June 26th uh, for just a case. Uh, we have to cancel because of weather. And if anyone is interested, uh, you can email me at bbozen at homertownship.com. Additionally, we are uh, starting a half an hour earlier, so uh, lineup will be at 9.30 and kickoff will be at 10.30. And we'd love to have any organization from Homer or Lockport uh, come and join us. All right, and that, re that concludes my report. Thank you, Vicki. Thank, Thank you, sir. Okay, um, go to my report here. Presentation of the Township Tentative Budgets, General Assistance, Founders Crossing General, Founders Crossers Bond, Open Space, Park, Park Developer Contributions, and Town Funds for Fiscal Year April 1st, 2022 through March 31st, 2023. The clerk published the notice of a public hearing scheduled for May 9th, 2022. And, um, we also uh, have them on the table here, so anybody wants a copy of it, it's up here. And we'll have it displayed at our office here, so anybody wants it, we can get it to you. And the, the good thing about it is, when you get your tax bill, look at the township side, and you can all smile. Because it went down quite a bit. When our assessor talks, it will kind of give you an idea of what's going on. But we really uh, did a good job as a board to cut the daylights out of your taxes. Okay, then there's a, next is a presentation by White & Company on the assessment of the senior housing for the CBDG grant. And we have Reagan Freitag from White & Company, so she's going to uh, tell us what's going on. Sure. We uh, came out and looked at the senior living. Um, first of all, I have to give you guys props to you for building, you know, 20 years old. Um, and you guys have really done a good job maintaining it for your seniors. Um, with that being said, um, the uh, 
the main thing that we wanted to look at, building structure, your foundations, your slab on grade, your wood framing are all good. So there's no um, major improvements there, which would be major and safety issues and, and also costly. So there's no um, improvements needed there. But we took a look at the building envelope, the building, so we talked about building structure, interior construction, interior finishes, interior miscellaneous like countertops and cabinets. Um, the site itself, you know, you guys did some improvements on the driveway. Um, there's just some curbs and, and, and um, grades um, on the sidewalks and stuff that would need to be improved. Um, mechanical, we took a look at those. Your air cooler condensers that are um, definitely needed for an upgrade. Um, electrical upgrades. Intensity, depending on how you feel. <clears throat> and then plumbing. Um, taking a look at the bathrooms. So there's some um, uh, walk-in tubs that need to be um, installed in all of them. It's going to be easier for the seniors. In order to do that, we would need to move um, the toilet and the drain. So that became a little more intensive. But overall, um, all there's eight buildings, 30 units. Um, there are, and then of course the new roof, which we we all knew that there needed uh, to be a new roof. So. Um, the all-in-all all number, we have a scope, um, sent that to uh, the township yesterday. We have a scope, um, a, a two-page report that we've sent, and um, the all-in cost for this was um, uh, all the units, all the um, materials, including any design fees. The only design fees would be that bathroom, um, and then construction and labor. Um, and the total cost is going to be one point eight uh one one million eight hundred and forty thousand dollars um with a roof and some of the things we we were thinking around 1.6 um so but once we get in there um and we also um added a little cushion there um just in case because we are going for a grant so we'd rather ask for more and if need be we can return that money but it's hard to go back especially when you're in, in the middle of a grant process. Um, but as you go in, <coughs> as we all know, the market is a little volatile right now, so we had to consider for the increase in cost in materials. So um, let's hope maybe once this project um, starts that you know we can save uh, the village money on that. So, But um, this, this dollar amount and the scopes will be the full amount that we're asking for the grant. Mm -hmm. So we'll be going for that amount at Wednesday on the township. Okay. Right. Now, uh, this is just more information. Okay. Okay, so um, item C is that we're, we're scheduling a public hearing on May 9th, well, it is scheduled for May 9th, 2022, for a proposed CD, BEG grant for senior housing. And did you guys include something different for the uh, Old Town Hall? That, um, yeah, we, we rushed the, um, so we did um, go in and looked at the town hall that was part of the assessment. It's just not what we can ask the CDBG grant for. So we put a rush on the estimates because the grant application is due um, April 18th. So I, I had my guys put a rush on this and said, just uh, hold off because I want to make this a priority to make sure the application is done right for you guys. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Okay. I need a motion to approve Homer Township Resolution HT 2022-0412-RES1, sanctioning the application and authorizing the Township Supervisor and Clerk to execute all the required documents in compliance with the terms and conditions of the CBDG grant application for Lockport Heights Sanitary District. That's been an ongoing project, if people don't know. They've been doing this since uh, early 2000s. So every year we do the same thing. We're a pass-through for the sanitary district. I'll start the motion. I'll second. Was that Trustee Conley? No, 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 no. Oh, Mark. Oh, sorry. Okay. Not you got a call All right. Mark. And I will do a roll call. <coughs> okay. Uh, Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Garwin? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Supervisor Bowlage? Yes. Okay, motion passes. Thank you. 
And the next item is uh, something I talked with uh, Mrs. Richardson. She's in the uh, audience there. Or what do you call it? I don't even know. She's there. She's sitting there. <laughs> that might not be the right term. But um, anyway, uh, we we agreed on a um, year to year. She preferred a two year lease, but um, the board, after I talked to everybody, they wanted uh, uh, someone's car is getting wrapped. Uh, that home or downship. <laughs> uh, but anyway, because uh, we're going to be uh, selling the oh, property. No, it's not mine. So uh, rather than I uh, have a, a problem, we want to do a, a year, a, like a month to month lease. And so they, she suggested that we do a year, a year lease. But if we sell the property, it reverts to a month to month lease, so that. Um, she can work it out with the new owners and because we have uh, and I don't even know for sure if the new owners are taking where her horse farm is at you know the, uh, they're going to do a presentation later on today but uh, if they are they might not be the whole thing or might be a part of it or whatever but we can work something out it's not going to um, happen right away anyway so uh, she's going to have a little time and that's how we solved the problem. So, uh, you know, it seemed like everything is okay. So I'd like to get a motion uh, to approve this. And it's a motion to approve a one-year lease agreement for $1,200 per year with the Richardson Horse Farm, with the exception of changing to month-to-month -month lease if the property is being sold, lease, the lease will be prepared by our attorney. So I need a motion I'll for that. Motion. I'll second. I'll take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Garwin? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you. Okay, the um, next item is going to be, um, well, we didn't know if we are going to be ready for it or not, so I just made sure I put it on there so it's a possible action on the Purdy and Walter firm. Next month we'll be talking about the Purdy firm. And this month uh, the gentleman from... Uh, I'm going to say your name wrong, Laughlin Boy. Laughlin Boy. Close enough? Yes. Close okay. Enough. Uh, that's the uh, builder. And uh, he's going to talk about the project we're going to do at the uh, Welter Farm. So uh, do you want to get up soon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can give everybody a copy of that, uh, the, you know, the diagrams. And then, and then if they have questions, they'll ask you. Yeah. No, and so this is the first step. There's, there's a lot more to this process. You know, we have we approve it, then uh, the Doja Home of Glen, uh, they're going to vote on it, and so it's, it's you know, it's, it doesn't happen overnight. But the idea behind this, it's going to be a uh, real nice place for seniors to live, not in a duplex or a quad or any that. It's going to be a real house with four walls, right? So uh, the houses are going to be about 1,200 square foot, give or take. So some are 1,000, and some are, some are more than others. But uh, what's happening is, I'm a senior, believe it or not. <laughs> now, and you know what? If I was to sell my house, I want to go move into a house. I don't want to live in an apartment building townhouse and have neighbors right next to me blowing me out with the music and the whole bit. So, we, me and Carmen Morella and Brent Portfolio, we had nothing to do, so what the heck, I'll spend our weekends uh, in the evenings figuring out how to do this stuff. So, uh, that's kind of how this all came about. We, we, we brainstormed to find, figure out how we can do a plan, and then we made up our books with all the different properties we have that we can do this stuff on. And then Bruce Laha from his real, real estate company um, was the first one to come up with a buyer, not a buyer, a builder, and gonna build a project. And the way the project's gonna work is that they build the houses and uh, sell the houses, and the township owns the land, and uh, the township will make uh, 
money off of an assessment for the land, and the people that own the houses will take care of their own little house, you know, little lot and little house. It won't be like giant size, 1,200 square foot is kind of like a little smaller than the house that I live in. A lot of the other people that live here, it's about a little smaller, that's all. But three bedrooms, two baths, two car attached garage, and backyards. So um, it's like a win-win project because now the seniors will have something that will be affordable for them. Where, when I'm saying affordable, I don't want to use the affordable word like they use the other way. I'm just saying it's reasonably priced. That's a better word. And so that means people that don't want to live in a house with the taxes are ten, twelve thousand dollars and they can't take care of it, have a place to go here so they can live here where they've been for most of their life and their kids are here. So with that, John, you wanna take it away? And basically it's a forty acre piece. And what there is is uh, there's duplex units on the perimeter here. High tension. You know, you're coming in, they got the shopping center here. So behind the shopping center, you're coming in here. Okay. So there's a row of duplexes here. Not bad. Yeah. And then these are all individual lots. There's 93 individual lots. And it will enter here, and it will, there's another entrance through here, too. Through, uh, can you, can you cut the board, John? Oh, do we have another thing? Can you hold it up? Yeah. 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 Why don't you get some copies to the board there? Yeah. Is there one more copy there? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, that was a good job. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, nice. That's good. We're good. Thank you. So this would be north. West. So these individual units would be all in here, 93 of them. There's a tension pond would be in here. Some of the uh, lots are designed for three-car garages in case people do want to upgrade to a three-car garage. And the duplexes will be running right around the front of this here. So you've got 93 residential lots and you've got 40 duplex units. Any questions? You guys on the board, you guys see that? You guys got a question? No, they're all going to be single family. No, you said they're all going to be single family homes? Or yeah. 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 So you got to roll the On the perimeter. The duplexes. All on the outside? There's not a lot of them. Okay. So just a bigger lot. Just roll. So what you have is 93 residential lots. And then you get 20 units, so this would be 2. That's not going to be data. Correct. So this is one of the presents at the mall. Maybe. It's all here. Yeah. I've seen I've seen the other the other I've seen the other I've seen the other 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 the so you so we have the same Something of this thing is secure, you know. I know, I know, I know. They they first sounds really good. See that as being a thing. I know it's.
by any means. Because you're not trying to get the money to do it. You don't want to do it. Because you're trying to get the money to do it. You don't want to get the money to do it. You don't want to get a close up. Is there going to be a HOA? One of the things that how the township is going to be able to do is even if you don't have the HOA, you're going to have to create a return. So like I'm not a false, like a false, you know, some sort of a... Just a thought. I'm not trying to be... 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 I can follow it very properly with this summer. So I might have to have two of them. Each individual apartment is not going to be 30 or 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 30 this bottom number, so they want to have a cut and look at that. That's on the VHOA, right? 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 My attorney here, Bert, he's been around forever. He thinks this is bad easy. Not forever, for a short time. Well, I'm excited to say I'll start the motion. Yes. I'll second. Conley, second. Okay, um, I'll take a roll call. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Garwin? Yes. Supervisor Ballage? Yes. This is for Walter Farm. Okay, and uh, we're going to have a Purdy Farm uh, discussion next month. We have um, a different division of the lot from boys coming out. Actually, the boys are coming out. The boys are coming out. The boys are here next month to uh, present that. So, uh, anyway, uh, you, the, everybody here will be real excited with all this stuff that we're doing. Because it's going to benefit everybody that lives here. Every single person is going to uh, find out that the township is going to do some stuff that will benefit them. You know, we're going to be a model for everybody when we're done. But anyway, we'll stop talking about that, John. Uh, Highway Commissioner Brent Porfilio. How's everybody doing? <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing I got to do here, I got to present the Homer Township Road District tentative budgets for equipment and building fund and for the road and bridge fund. This is for the fiscal year starting April 1st, 2022, and it runs through March 31st, 2023. The clerk published the uh, notice of public hearing, which is scheduled in a few weeks uh, for May 9th. Um, I, I want to run through a couple of numbers first before I go to my next topic to give you a grasp of the tax money that we're saving. Um, yeah, this is May 9th is the uh, public hearing for this. Okay, so um, for the road and bridge fund, um, the previous commissioner had levied a tax of $4.53 million last year. Um, of that 4.53 million, uh, 2.41 million were put in the budget. The rest was a, uh, a tax share that went back to the municipal uh, sections of the township. Uh, the tax levy for this round is going to be for road and bridge 1.5 million. That's a 68% reduction. Um, besides the assets that were transferred over to the Homer Glen Public Works Department, there were a number of drastic cuts that I took in uh, staff in benefits, in uh, the working uh, operations of the uh, road district, and on the uh, capital improvements programs. So it wasn't just, oh, we have a tax reduction because we gave everything away. That's not the case. Uh, we have a skeleton staff of two people that are doing everything for the 21 miles. Two people. We have no administrative staff. We have two laborers that do everything, and they also do the books with me. And you can't go any lower than that. That's the, that's the minimum you can have. So we're, we're saving lots of tax money for the taxpayers of Homer Township, which includes Homer Glen, the east half of Lockport, and small pieces of Lockport, uh, 
Lamont and um, New Lenox, small pieces. The other fund is the Equipment and Building Fund. It's much smaller. There's no tax shares with the Equipment and Building Fund. Everything that we levy we go that goes back into the budget. The previous uh, tax levy was 550,000. Uh, that was uh, that was reduced by 50 percent. I'm sorry, 57 percent down to 250,000 for the next tax year. So we're saving money. We're cutting costs. We're cu cutting the way, being more efficient with our operations. Um, we're going to bid on a lot of things with more bidders. We're casting a wider net with all of our uh, bidding documents versus how we did it previously. So we get tight bids. Um, and I'll get into the recent bids that we got in a couple minutes here. So um, that's the budget. So lots of tax savings. We cut, we're cutting a lot out, if you all care. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> Okay, so um, there's three other things I want to discuss pretty quickly. I want to be transparent with everything. So uh, the Homer Township Road District building used to be the public works for Homer Glen, and now it's located further west in a blue building you can see from 151st Street. When it was provided to us last year, it's just a shell. There's no running water, there's no fire protection system, there's no pavement, um, there's no bathrooms, there's no offices, there's nothing in there, it's just a shell. So the first thing that uh, we have to do is we have to make it a functioning uh, Township Road District building and facility. So to do that, we're, um, we're letting out and bidding out three contracts for improvements to the Road District building and property. They were just um, bid out and awarded this past week. Uh, we have a water and sewer trench we're running from 151st Street to the building. We have um, paving that's going to be done on the uh, gravel access road and on the apron approach to the building. And the third one is for the build-out itself. Inside the building, we're putting in offices, running water finally, showers, a bathroom, and a fire protection system. Um, and we're also uh, doing upgrades to the uh, building with new fencing and new gutters that we've, that we've had done. Um, next item, and that, that work should be done uh, by this fall. It's starting uh, this month. Um, the roadway program. What are we spending money on for capital improvements? We have 21 miles of roadway. Uh, we're going to try to do about a mile a year. That's around 250 to 300,000. Um, for this year, it's going to be Forest Manor. I don't know if anybody lives in Forest Manor, but the roads there are they're pretty horrendous. Um, when I did my uh, walkthrough of all of our assets, it had roads rated on a scale of one to ten of a two. So you can only imagine how bad it is. So we're putting our money in a Forest Manor this year. Um, I'm also going out to some companies for the investigation of the Smith Road uh, bridge replacement over Bull Run Creek um, on the west end of town. Uh, we're going to see how much budget we have left to uh, improve that. I had a meeting with the city of Lockport this week This week, with Ben Benson and Brent Can, the uh, public works director. We're going to be providing funding for the paving and improvements of Farrell Road um, from the Willow Walk subdivision north to 151st Street. That's going to be a shared um, funding. Of course, Homer Township uh, Road District is only paying for our pieces that are in our jurisdiction, um, which is around 0.8 miles. The rest is shared uh, with um, Lockport Township and with the City of Lockport. And we're on the east half of the uh, Frail Roadway. I also petitioned uh, for uh, a cost share to extend the sidewalk on the east side of Frail Road. Um, people are walking out in the street to get around parked cars and the lack of a sidewalk from uh, just north of the Willowock subdivision up to Bruce Road. And it's, it's a dangerous situation. There's a lot of kids that are getting in harm's way with that. So uh, I'm looking to see if I can get cost participation in that to complete that sidewalk gap. Um, the Homer Township Highway Commissioner Special Needs Grant, we have a, a, a winner. We're going to be awarding it um, probably in early May. That's going to be in concert with the uh, Building Awareness <coughs> Committee in Homer Glen with uh, Nicole Laha. Um, and the last item is all of the IGAs have finally been signed with the uh, Village of Homer Glen for the uh, Road District and for a few other things, including the um, Homer Fest. And that's everything I have. And if anybody has any questions. And Brent, you want to tell us a little about the uh, grindings and the uh, event center? 
It's a good, it's a good time to ask people. The Trantina you know. Farm is what we're talking about? Yeah. Okay, so um, the Land Use Committee, Carmen, myself, and um, Steve, we're trying to generate um, a reduction in the uh, taxes for the people of the township, and we have a lot of uh, land that we're trying to develop and turn into a revenue source. And one of the uh, properties that we're looking at right now, besides a couple of them that were mentioned tonight, is the Trantina Farm. It's not very far down the road here. It's about maybe, what, two miles west of here. Um, there's a large plot of land on the north side of the street, and there's a dog park on the south side of the street right now. Um, what I've been doing recently is to try to cut costs for the paving portion of this um, build-out. By the way, it's going to be a, an events um, center. We have a, uh, a landscape architect that we have um, procured to do a rendering for the public that's supposed to be done by the first week of May to show the layout of what we want to do with the property both north of 151st Street for uh, events and south of 151st Street for wedding venues. And this, this uh, depending on how much money we have uh, funded for this, we may have to phase it in pieces or we could also try to do it all now. The longer you wait, of course, for uh, building things, there's escalation costs in labor and materials every year that you don't want to have to deal with if you don't have to. Um, so we're all excited pretty much about this, and, and probably at the next meeting maybe we'll have some renderings that we can present to uh, the people that are out in the public tonight, uh, hopefully show up next time, if you want to see what's going on in the uh, exciting new Homer Township um, vision of getting taxes reduced down to nothing. That's, that's the bottom line we want to do for the road district and the township is completely get rid of taxes. So we need more revenue sources. Um, so, uh, so yeah, I'm getting to that. <laughs> You're brutal. <laughs> I know I am. So, uh, so for the north side of 151st Street, I don't know how many of you have been at, at Trantina Farms and see how large the pro the, the uh, parcel is. I don't know if anybody's ever seen that. I think they had a TV show that was just over there uh, shooting a pilot. But anyways. Um, the north side of it is all the way up by the warehouses, uh, if you've ever been out there. So if you stood on 151st Street, there's a silo out there and a, and a couple of abandoned buildings and structures, and there's a playground off to the left side. Uh, but a lot of it's going to be uh, parking facilities, and it's also going to be facilities for uh, uh, tents and events, like Homer Fest and things like that. And um, so because of that, we have, I think, over 1,500 cars we're trying to uh, shoot for as a goal for how many parking stalls we're going to try to have north of 151st Street. And of course, to pave all that, the asphalt is about 120 bucks a ton, 100 to 120 bucks a ton right now. In order to fray that cost, we are reaching out to a lot of the local municipalities, including Homer Glen and Lockport, to try to get uh, asphalt grindings, where they can uh, deliver them to the site, and we can use them, uh, we can break them up and use them as a, a pavement layer on, the, uh, on top of the stone. So that's coming, and um, I'm trying to get agreements with people that are going to be providing the grindings and see if they can commit to how many tons they can commit to so I can keep track of uh, how much we need and how much we're going to get. Um, so that's something I think that's pretty exciting right now. Um, and stay tuned. Every meeting we're going to be trying to provide you with more information on these developments. That's all I got. Thanks, friend. Now, any of you cities out there that are watching this thing on a video, <laughs> we need your grindings. And we're not going to charge you to dump. So, you know, it's close by, so come and dump it over here at Homer Township. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next thing we have, Karma Morella's uh, assessor report. Hello, everybody. Uh, so, um, what's going on in the assessor's office? Um, we're taking applications for a senior freeze. County used to roll them over with COVID. Um, this year they actually said, nope, we're opening them back up. Any seniors out there want to get on the freeze, please re-put your application in. Um, we've been kind of um, advertising that and let everybody know. Um, so I'm just kind of giving that a heads up. Um, they start closing that towards the end of June. So we want to make sure we get these in pretty quick. Um, the other thing we're also working on is we're getting our, our 20, 22 assessment uh, books ready for turnover to the county by the end of um, July. Um, so we're doing some mass appraisal looking, kind of um, reaching out and see where we're at with 
um, the valuations for the homes. Um, processes before it seemed like it was like a nitpick, you know, look at this house, look at this house. We do it a little differently. We're taking a whole subdivision, we're analyzing the whole entire subdivision, and we're seeing how the, the equalized value of that subdivision is, and um, that's, that's where we're going to get our assessments from. We're not reassessing this year, we're just overlooking to see where we may be able to reassess going into the quad next year. Um, and it just gives us a good forecast of how we want to do it going forward. And that's what we're working on right now. So and that's all, that's really Thanks, all Carl. The other thing is, is you know, Steve's touch based a little bit on, on one thing. Um, we did cut the taxes for the township by 16%, which I think is wonderful. And, um, it, and you know, that's what we all kind of worked very hard to do. and put our budget up, so. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now uh, we screwed up on the agenda because we didn't include the uh, committee reports, but uh, hey, what are you gonna do, right? So uh, Matt Conley and uh, Mike Bonomo are on the land use committee as of last month. We just haven't had a meeting with them yet, but uh, it'll be coming. So we kind of don't have a land use committee <laughs> report because we didn't have a meeting. You know, the stuff that we did, what we're talking about now, is what we did prior to the committee when we were kind of like a task force, figuring it out, brainstorming, come up with the right idea to make it all work. And so now we have an actual committee which we'll meet occasionally, only when we need to. And then we got uh, Mike Bonomo, his committee with the uh, seniors. I don't know if you had anything to report. Yeah, I just, uh, you know, I had um, Angel Sh Sh and Mark Arwin out today helping me out with the seniors. Um, Cindy Lahab was um, wasn't able to come back, come out, which she normally is uh, with me. So they had a night. Well, Mark spent it before Angel was your first time, and he had a chance to see what we're doing for the seniors. And I think it's a great event. This is the largest turnout I've had so far, and uh, we are planning a uh, tea event for the seniors. We announced it at at, at the um, the, Bing, the Zingo today, and I had 26 people sign up for it, and it's being posted on the village website as well. So it's going to be a great turnout there. And everything's going to be leading up to the Senior Expo, which we're going to have on September 10th. You'll hear more about it as we put information together on it. And it's just it's getting better each month. And the seniors are coming. They all go with a full stomach because we feed them. They're winning money, a little bit of money. And uh, it's just a good time. They're, they're all even with smiles on their face and a full stomach. So it's a good time. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Okay. Uh, motion to approve all bills for March 22nd, Founders Crossing Bond. Founders Crossing General, General Assistance, Open Space, Park Developer Contribution, Park, Town, Road, and Bridge, and Equipment and Building. You get a motion to approve the bills. I'll start the motion. I'll second. I'll take a roll call. Uh, Trustee Conley? Yes. Trustee Bonomo? Yes. Trustee Garwin? Yes. Trustee Rivera? Yes. Supervisor Knowledge? <coughs> yes. Motion passes. Okay, then uh, old business, uh, we have check out what's happening, which is in the blog for the township elected officials to post additional information regarding current events. So we have a thing called what's happening and the trustees can post stuff on there. You know, they'll give it to the office and the office will put it on there for them. So they'll can tell you some stuff that's going on if they want. If they don't want, it's up to them. I'm not going to hit them on the head if they don't do it. So anyway. Uh, we move on from there to uh, pretty much uh, adjournment because we don't have anything else. So we get a motion to adjourn. I'll start the motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any nays? Motion passes. Okay. Meeting's adjourned. Meeting's adjourned.